Okay, now we have the um, the under things, all the little things that make the the costume just work while you're wearing it. If you are like me and you have um, stuff on your chest that you want to keep down, sports bras. They work. Uh, if you have a compression shirt, that might work too, although don't wear them for long periods of time because um, I hear that it's not good for you. Um, I can't. I can't wear a compression shirt. There's too much here, unfortunately. So, sports bra it is. Um, black socks, you know. Also, if you're going to be walking around, um, get comfy socks. Um, like squishy socks that will help you not hurt your feet. And lastly, you have uh, your bandana. Um, I wish mine was red. I have a black one now, um, and it's actually just a regular old uh, do-rag from Walmart. Um, and it's sheer, and it keeps... I, I, I'm pretty sure these are designed to keep hair in place. And they do, it's, you know, it does the job very well. And like for me, I have all this hair, it has to stay up someplace. This is quite good at doing that. Um, it's all, you know, machine wash with a lot of good stuff. It's sheer, so you won't, um, you know, you could still breathe from your head and whatnot. Um, and then it also has the nice long tails to, to give you that, you know, the long bandana look on it. Um, so, do-rag, socks, sports bra. Yeah, those little things that matter. But now, the outside things. Outside thing number one, your basic black dress shirt. Um, I found this at the Goodwill because the Goodwill is your friend. Um, I also put on uh, red buttons on the cuffs and on the shirt itself. This, this one actually has a nice stiff collar which helps. I, I like to have it popped up um, because popping collars, it's where it's at, yo. I, I had tried to fix it so that the arms were a bit thinner on me. Because um, if you notice how... how um, I don't know what kind of shirt Bunny wears, but it's right up next to his arm. Um, and this one actually isn't on me, but I think it's because it's a woman's shirt and women have more curves in our arms. I don't know. Um, if you could find one that's a bit more streamlined, I would suggest doing so. There's really not much else to this. Basic black button-down shirt. Outerwear thing number two, your pants. Mine are awesome, and they have stripes on them, if you can see that. <laughs> These were, these were black pants before, um, and then what I did is I took a little bit of blue tape, stripped, made strips all down the pant leg, covering up what I'd want to be black, and then spray painted it with uh, this stuff, Rust-Oleum metallic finish. Um, this stuff, like two bucks. This stuff is going to paint on. It's going to be this bright freaking silver. Um, but it's okay, because you can actually wash these, which is the cool part about this. Um, I've washed these twice now, um, and the first time they were really, really bright silver. Um, it was a really stark looking color, and it wasn't really the color of rabbit's pants. Then I washed them, and they were perfect. Uh, it was just slightly faded, but still had that metallic sheen. Um, the second time I've washed them now, the sheen is going away, so I gather that as I wash them, the silver will eventually fade. So uh, I don't have a fix for that just yet. Um, if anyone does, well, you know, let us all know. Again, goodwill. Five bucks for a pair of slacks. The other cool thing that I did with these pants, uh, my friend upstairs, um, not God, literally, I'm in an apartment, I'm in an, I'm in an apartment complex, literally upstairs, my friend uh, doesn't on Tumblr, I'll link to her down below. Uh, she's awesome, and she does things with fabric that blow my mind. Like, she made these pants into more of a skinny jean shape. Um, because not that I spend hours looking at rabbit's pants. You know, just a couple minutes a day. Don't judge me. Rabbit's pants are pretty tight, as some of you might see. Uh, they also flare out from the knee down, and so these pants were pretty wide leg the whole down. Uh, and so what my friend doesn't did, uh, I have a pair of skinny jeans, and we put them on top of these, had an outline, and cut off some extra fabric from the inside of the leg here. Uh, and it makes 
a world of difference. Oh my goodness, it makes a big, big difference to have the skinniness on your thighs and it flares out on the leg. It looks just like rabbit's pants. This, these are things that cosplayers care about. <laughs> pant with. So that's how I made my rabbit pants. And outerwear thing number three, the thing that just how? How do you make a rabbit vest? It's weird. It doesn't exist in real life. Oh, does it now? <laughs> no, it actually does. I've seen I've seen a lot of really awesome vests online. Uh, that's pretty good. I, I like mine a lot. <laughs> I'm very proud of how this came out, I must say. There, there are tutorials online of how to actually make it from the ground up by cutting up fabric and whatnot. I'm a college student, so I went to the Goodwill and bought a really oversized shirt for three bucks. Uh, this shirt, it, it was a, it was a button-down long sleeve shirt to begin with, and now it is a vest. When I put the shirt on, it was actually like, like three sizes too big for me, and so I could literally flap it over myself. But that was good because you want that asymmetrical vest. So that's what, what we did with this. And then of course my friend doesn't, who performed her magic, uh, she actually took off the sleeves of the shirt and fashioned them into the huge, la the huge lapels that you see here. I still don't know how she did that. I think she actually used uh, a lapel on one of her blazers. She has a very high taste in fashion. She wears blazers. Uh, and she used that as a, a con- a, um, somewhere, something to start off from. Um, that's gonna be the hardest part, and I'm so sorry that I can't offer more information than this. Um, but we did use the sleeves. The rest of the stuff is, is, you know, pretty easy to do. Get some bias tape and just go all the way around on the edge of it. And then the buttons, I'm proud to say I did these all by myself. Uh, I did not have to use magic to help me with this. I can't find buttons this size in red of the color that I needed, so I just kind of made my own buttons, so to speak. I found the original buttons were black, and they had this like rough kind of texture to them, but they were the perfect size for what I needed. Um, and I had a lot of extra uh, red fabric that I used for a different cosplay of mine. Um, and the underside of said fabric was the perfect color that matched the bias tape. So what I did, took the buttons, and I actually cut out small pieces of the fabric, hot glued it onto the button, and then put the buttons on the vest. Just a note, because I tried it on, on, on another button. Let's see if I can show you. I actually hot glued the pieces of fabric on the underside of the button. Because if you just put the hot glue on the button face and put the fabric down, it's not gonna, like, it's gonna have a weird, it's not gonna be this really pristine looking flat look that you want the buttons to look like. Um, so keep that in mind if you're gonna do um, my version of buttons. They don't actually work. There is velcro underneath here, which is the best thing ever, and I'm pretty sure the buttons don't work on... I'm pretty sure they're fake buttons on Rabbit's actual vest because who who does this? Uh, nobody, that's who. And to get the to get the actual asymm asymmetry, you know, shape, reference pictures. Lots and lots of reference pictures. Finally, the back, which I guess I have updated to have the red ribbons, because just just keep changing the outfit. Funny, it's all right. I can afford it. <laughs> this, you know, I'm super simple. Um, grommet tape, just all down each of the side, and then lace the ribbon through, tie it off at the bottom, and you have the back of the vest. There you have it. Rabbit vest. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool.